Hey guys, welcome back. This one's a little bit different. I'm doing more of a product um, demonstration. So yeah, let's talk about sandblasting. Years and years ago, I did buy one of those pressure pot sandblasting kits and I think I only had it for a, a couple of weekends. I tried to use it, it was messy, sand was going everywhere, and it was blocking up. My air compressor at the time wasn't that great um, and I just sold it and, and didn't bother. But for the Tirana, I got the underside of my bonnet and some hinges and stuff like that uh, water blasted, dustless, dustless sand blasting, which is pretty much um, sandblasting media being propelled with high pressure water. So in the last few years, the popularity of the press, high pressure washer sandblasting kit uh, has, has grown. And I thought, oh, I'll, I'll, I'll get into that, you know? So um, I, I am gonna be paint stripping the engine bay of the, the Corolla there. So I thought anything that could sort of make my job easy, especially in little little gaps and crevices and that sort of stuff will be of benefit. Now there are reputable brands, um, especially here in Australia, that do sell their version of the high pressure uh, sandblast kit. They were for like five, five times the price of what you could buy one from Amazon or eBay. And they looked similar. They were the, the sort of brass looking head with the removable ceramic inserts. I don't deny that they will work. Um, you know, a lot of people have had great success with that, but you know, if I was gonna spend 50 bucks, I was, I'd rather spend 100 and 150 on, on something that I deem as better quality or a better system. So I settled on this. This was $130 delivered to my door um, from eBay Australia, it was actually from a uh, a local importer and what really drove me to buy this unit was I'd seen some demonstrations of you know uh, brands like uh, Power Eagle and American brands that have their item that looks very similar to this um, and they well the demonstrations that they they show in their videos it performed quite well so I was sold on on that um, I like the fact that it's a, a big, heavy, big, heavy cast sort of Venturi um, nozzle system here. Um, you know, you can replace the pressure washer nozzle there. I think this one here, it comes with a 15 degree MEG nozzle, MEG nozzle. I do have a zero degree one, which that might work, but I'll give this one a go first. It's just well built, it's heavy. The hose is good. Inside, it looks to me it's a, uh, a carbide, tungsten carbide nozzle in there. So, I mean, great value. I mean, it's, it's not ceramic, that's for sure. So, be interesting to see how this performs. The wand here sits inside your your bag of sand, your, your bucket of sand. And I believe this is, this adjusts the amount of sand that goes through the system. To run this unit though, um, it requires a minimum of 3000 PSI and about 15 liters a minute. Built well. Let's go check out my pressure washer. Now, let's go, let's go check out my pressure washer. Here in SA, we have a company called Paramount Browns. It's very similar to Hare and Forbes in the Eastern States. So this is the biggest pressure washer that you can buy. It's just under $800 retail, and it uses a Chonda 13 horsepower engine. And maximum PSI is about 3,800, which is more than adequate because apparently PSI doesn't really matter. It's more your liters per minute. And yes, Ghana is ideal but I decided to use some dried sand uh, that could be purchased at, you know, any good landscaping store. 
you know, it was about eight dollars for thirty kilograms, which is pretty good value. I do have some garnet, but at twenty five dollars for twenty kilos or so, I'll just use my um, demonstration with something like this first. Evidently, the first couple of minutes proved to be quite unsuccessful. I'll explain a little bit later in the video as to why. That works pretty killer. That surpassed my expectations. It, and that's with a 15 degree MEG or MEG nozzle um, uh, in, in the gun. They, they say to use a, a zero degree, but the amount of spray and how easily and quickly it took off that flaky paint, um, the, the surface rust in, you know, we saw it literally seconds. So uh, I do believe the system I got with the, the better, chunkier cast head is, is better. Like, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't waste my time with those little pea shooter ones that you can get from eBay or Amazon. Yeah, no, it's good. Really happy with that. Well, I'll be definitely using that on the engine bay of the Corolla. Um, you know, just, it would just allow me to get all the, the those crevices and um, hard to get to bits much easier yeah it'll be messy yeah there'll be a lot of water um, and yeah i'll be going through you know eight dollar bags but it's definitely worth it like it, it's been a good purchase for me i'm i'm happy um i i haven't i need to buy that rust inhibitor you know you can either use it with the water that you're washing with or or and you can um mm spray on the item after blasting i've just got some metal conditioner and stuff like that i'll be i'll be using that before i prime anyway um or even to keep the flash rust at bay post blast uh, but we'll see what happens you know if i need to go buy some inhibitor because um it's recommended and it works better then i will do that but for now this video was mainly about the the attachment, uh, the pressure washer, and how well it works or not. And I'm not kidding when I say this is the first time I've, try I've tried it. I, ha I haven't had any test runs beforehand. Um, so the first time I tried it, evident in the, the, the footage as well, because um, at the start, it was just pretty much pressure washing it. There was no real sand coming through. Um, I tweaked the, the valve and also I turned the tap on a bit harder because I think there wasn't the full amount of water going through the gun and 
because it wasn't running close to 15 litres per minute, it probably wasn't causing the, the venturi, the sucking action of the sand. So um, once I turned the tap on a little bit harder, it just worked. So, so thanks very much for uh, watching this video and checking out my new pressure washer sandblast kit. Cheers. See ya.